I've used their popular foundations of economics book in the past, and I think it's one of the most clearly written and organized texts out there. And I've always appreciated its graphical and explanatory clarity, use of real world examples and treatment of important issues such as inequality and the role of economics and helping to address environmental issues such as climate change. Um, so I knew who they were, and uh, I'd also always um, done a lot of my own development and created websites for my courses with a high degree of interactivity where students had to click through graphs, watch videos, do assessment questions that were embedded in the middle of the website. And I showed my work to Pearson in the past at a focus group, and I learned that they'd created a fully integrated platform called Revel that allowed for a setup that was real similar to the kind of um, textbook um, kind of website design that I was using um, with my own personal development. And they approached me and said that Michael and Robin were interested in creating their own um, kind of more interactive book based on their past work. And I um, did a little bit of review. We talked back and forth and the rest was really kind of history. Well, Economics Interactive is a fully integrated solution so that students read and work the problems all in one location um, and all in the order the content is intended to be learned. And it's easier for an instructor because everything is already set up. And like I said, everything's all in one location. Um, and really a static hard copy of a book or an ebook paired to a homework system is, you know, arguably inferior to economics interactive because rather than taking a book and attach it to a homework system, what we've done is we've essentially re-envisioned the textbook as a digital product that uses 21st century technologies to make it more interactive and engaging with an embedded incentive structure to read the book. I don't know that the challenges of te teaching economics in general have changed that much, but I've seen a lot of deterioration in what I'll call math and graph intuition. Um, and my sense is also that students today are less likely to read the book before doing the homework or even read the book at all. Um, perhaps because many more students today work full time and have a lot of pressures on their schedule and they respond very strongly to things that generate points. And so if you tell them to kind of go read the book and there's no points attached, I think sometimes they, they discount the value of doing so. Um, but at the same time, you know, I think reading the textbook has a really big impact on big picture understanding versus kind of going directly to the homework and then just kind of rooting through the book in a random way to find answers. And so with Economics Interactive, what we've done is we've tried to create something that is very sequential and fully integrated so that um, when a student goes to, to do their homework slash textbook, they start at the opening of the textbook and then they answer questions along the way. And so after every couple of paragraphs, um, you know, the students have to answer a couple of multiple choice questions to make sure they got the material. Uh, and then after um, the students get through kind of reading the materials, they run into graphs along the way. And rather than just seeing a finished graph, they have to build the graph up from scratch. Uh, and read about the steps along the way. So, you know, what we've done is we've created something that's that's highly interactive. We're sort of the textbook is the homework and the homework is uh, the textbook. And so to the extent that, you know, students uh, are no longer reading the book in the way we'd like them to, um, they're no longer engaging in the graphs the way we'd like them to, they're potentially going straight to the homework and then on, you know, trying to root through the book to find answers. You know, Economics Interactive solves all of these issues by having the student start at the top of the chapter and work their way through it and get points along the way.
I mean, I guess what I'm most excited about is that Economics Interact, it was literally built from the ground up using best practice learning science to help students succeed in their economics classes by keeping them more actively engaged. There is no physical textbook and quite frankly, that is the way students are operating these days on, you know, at least in my classes, when I look about 90 to 95% of the students buy the ebook slash homework management package and they bypass getting a hard copy of the book delivered. And honestly, you know, you could argue that a hard copy of a book is an inferior product and, you know, students aren't even using it to begin with. They're reading online. And so if they're already reading online, why not have a book where the students actually have to engage and interact with the graphs and answer questions along the way and get points for doing the reading? You know, trying to sort of shoehorn a traditional textbook into an ebook is really sort of trying to take 19th, 20th century technology and apply it to 21st century technology. And we just said like, let's throw all that out and start from the ground up and build a book that looks like it was built in the 21st century. And that's what Economics Interactive is. It's a college textbook for the 21st century. Thank you.